Hello everyone, welcome to another training video brought to you by the Sundog team. Today I'm going to talk about Microsoft Teams and how you access it remotely, whether it's on your existing computer or on a new computer. On an existing computer, it can't get any easier. It's already installed, you just need access to uh, the internet, and once you do, go ahead and double click on your Microsoft Teams icon on your computer. And that'll open up Teams just like it does within the office. But Imagine you're remote and you need to access Microsoft Teams, but you're on a computer that you've never installed Teams before on. Could be your home computer, could be the computer at grandma's house, who knows? Microsoft makes it very easy to do this. So all we need to do is bring up a web browser. I prefer Microsoft Edge. And we go to the web address, so just in the address bar, type portal.office.com. And we're going to go ahead and log in using your email address, your work email. And this is important. You're going to get prompted for a work or school account or a personal account. We're going to go ahead and select work or school account. Then we're going to put in our password. Let's see if we can do this on the first try. Bam. Perfect. I'm going to click, click yes uh, to stay signed in. And that's going to bring me right to the Microsoft portal. You can see I've got access to all the applications within the Microsoft 365 suite. But for this video, I'm just going to click on Teams. So when I click on Teams, it's really cool. I'm going to be prompted for two things. It's going to ask me, do I want to get the Windows app or use the web app instead? So I can click on Get the Windows app, which is going to download the desktop version of Microsoft Teams onto the computer that you're on. You absolutely can do that. But if you're in a rush or ultimately the web-based version works just as well as the desktop version, I'm going to go ahead and click on use the web app instead. And when I do, it brings me instantly to Microsoft Teams. And as you can see, it looks just like the Teams version that you have on the computer at work. You can select your different Teams. You can go ahead and go into Files. Uh, you can select your OneNote notebooks. Uh, whatever it may be that you need access to, that's all here and available to you in the web-based version. And that's it in a nutshell. When you're done, you can go ahead and click on the icon in the upper right hand corner and just select sign out and that'll log you out of Microsoft Teams on that computer. And that's it. If you have any questions, as always, you can reach out to the Sundog team at 815-991-2400 and one of our Sundog engineers will be happy to help you. Take care and have a wonderful day.